Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I am IETF qualified auditor and I am doing audit for automotive sector for the last 17 years. I am again back with a very very interesting topic. What is the key difference between identification and traceability? Well, before going ahead with respect to ISO perspective or IETF perspective, it's very important to understand that it's not only required as per the standard or maybe in any factory, but in our day-to-day -day life also, identification and traceability are both playing a very, very important role. If you look at your mobile, you will find that there is an IMEI number, which is a unique code. And with that, it can be identified that where exactly the mobile is, even if it is, uh, you know, it is lost somewhere. If you see it from another perspective from the Google, in Google map, if you put a location, you can trace where exactly is that location. I can give you a very funny example about myself that couple of days back, uh, we had to go to a historical place and I was going through the Google to know about that place. And on the top, it came that four years back, you visited that particular place. So this is the way in which the different mechanisms are tracing where you are, where you are at the moment. If I talk about ISO's perspective, so as per ISO 9015, the traceability is to know about the history of a product or an object. There is no clear definition given with respect to identification, but it's to know about the status of the product at this point of time. If I talk a little bit brief or a little bit detail about the key differences between identification and traceability. So identification is about the present that what is the present status about the product or service. Traceability is always about the history. When we talk about identification, it is to know that what is the present status. But when we are identifying a product, traceability is not always a requirement. But when we talk about traceability, for good traceability, identification is must. Unless and until we have a good identification system, we cannot have a good traceability system. When we talk about identification, we are talking about knowing the status of the product from incoming inspection to the dispatch. When we talk about traceability, it is required in certain stages, like where the safety product is there, maybe shoe, uh, brake shoe pad, maybe airbags, or maybe something like that. So in those cases, traceability is a requirement. Wherever we are doing repair and rework, and then we are sending the material to the customer, traceability is a requirement. In calibration, there is a requirement of traceability to national or international standard. So there are certain specific cases where traceability is a requirement. When we talk about traceability, there is one more requirement that traceability can be forward and traceability can be backward. Let me give an example for that. Let's assume, let's take an example of this pen which is being made a particular company. When we talk about forward traceability, we want to know that on which date this particular pen was manufactured in the company. Then when it was transferred from the company to the warehouse, then from warehouse when it was transferred to the OEM, now from OEM when it was shipped to the user. So in case we want to track this particular trail and if we can do that, that will be called forward traceability. Now to talk about backward traceability. Now let's assume that this particular clip is of particular steel. Now we want to understand that uh, what is the root of this particular steel? So this particular clip may be coming from a particular supplier. So we'll go there and check that on which date this particular clip was made. Now we want to understand that from where this particular supplier has taken the raw material. So that supplier must have taken it from a stockist. So from there, now we'll try to track that from which steel mill this particular material has come. Now from there, we also want to understand that on which heat number it was made. And through that, we can track that what was the iron ore and other materials that were used in that. So that is called backward traceability. So depending upon the requirement, we decide that whether we want to do backward traceability or forward traceability or both. If I talk about automotive industry perspective, generally in the case of warranty and recall, traceability plays a very, very important role because we want to understand that uh, the problem has come from where so that we can go to that particular place and take some action. Some of the key challenges that industry faces with respect to traceability and identification is that in general organizations don't take traceability very serious unless and until they get some complaint from the customer. Secondly, generally the top management feels that traceability means a lot of money. So they don't really care about it unless and until it becomes very, very important. And thirdly, and the most important thing is even if the organization implement traceability in their organization, they don't care about their supplier and sub-supplier. 
and in majority of the cases traceability does not have any meaning unless and until that traceability is from end to end so if i do a summary identification is about present that what is the status as of now conforming or not conforming traceability is about history that what had happened if you want to know about that that is traceability my next video will be with respect to the key difference between repeatability and reproducibility that is related to measurement system analysis fourth edition well in case you are liking this kind of videos and you want that these kind of videos and blogs should regularly come to you so you can subscribe to my youtube channel and my website i am regularly getting a lot of feedbacks from your side and they are helping me to understand your expectation so do continue to do that and in case you want to understand a little bit more about this video if you go to the below link in the description you will find a blog and you will find the information in much more detail Thank you.